Thought Hill Lee after uh, Kingstonian's first goalless draw of the season <coughs> um, at home to Weston. <coughs> and Lee was nil nil the right result today. I think overall, we were, uh, yeah, it was nothing, didn't it? Yeah. I don't think there was any real clear cut chances. I think Ben Dempsey in the first half, he's intercepted it and got in. Um, we were the better team in the first half. I think it was just a nothing game, really, from being honest. There was no real. Anything in the last third, I can see. Yeah, it's we were putting balls in, we were getting the end of anything. It was quite, was, yeah. quite uh, yeah, I don't tough. Think um, yeah, I was, I was sure we was it. Yeah, we defended very well. Yeah, yeah. I'm being really honest. Obviously, says that with 0 0, but yeah, you we did. Two, two, um, two, two, two centre halves, two full backs done, done well defensively. Um, but yeah, it was um, a game to forget, I think. Was it was it a lack of uh, quality in the final third, or more, or was it struggling to retain possession a little bit in the middle, or a combination of the two? Well, I think it was it was all round really. You don't want to play the game in the middle of the park. The boys know how we want to play. Um, they got four two three one, and they overload the middle of the park and play through there. So they do, we don't. So um, we did get a down the side, but we just didn't find the player. We've got down the flanks a few times, but just didn't seem to pick anyone out that would have a clear chance on goal. Um, yeah, I thought it was kind of counting each other out a lot. But having said that, um, perhaps after Mercer and come here and hot off the scoring, not a lot of teams do that. Um, and then on the other side, Mercer was going on a great run. Mm. Um, so yeah, it was a tight game, but I say but we pretty edged up chances, but nothing really clear cut, and nothing that stood out. Yeah. Um, obviously he <coughs> um, he missed a chance in the first half, but how pleasing was Ben Dempsey's performance again in the middle? Ben's doing well. He's um he's mature for his age. He's, he's 18, isn't he? So um, yeah, he's getting a mature performance. His work ethic is is very good, which you expect coming from a pro environment. He's full time, so his fitness level should be. <coughs> a lot higher than non-league players, um, and, and he shows that to be fair. <coughs> he's getting used to non-league as well in such a short space of time. Um, but yeah, he's, he's a good young player. Um, and obviously today we um, we started with Sam York up front, Louis out wide, and, and Elliot on the bench. Is it a question of just trying to rotate those three at the moment, or yeah, that's, what we, that's what we generally do? We try and rotate. Yeah. And we would have probably gone with the same starting lineup for the last two games, but we've got a game Saturday, we've got a game Tuesday, we've got a game Saturday. Um, uh, so yeah, and, and Delano is not available after today. He's got an operation on his hand on Thursday. Okay. So that would be my thinking, just to play him for this for this game and rest L's. Um, to a degree, obviously, I'll come for the last 20, 25 minutes. Um, yeah, yeah, so that's that. Yeah. That's that's why. And we just had we just had a nine day break, obviously, when a lot of teams have been playing games. Um, did you did we see the effects of that today in terms of fitness or was it a bit of rustiness? Like how do you think that's what impact it had? I think a bit of both, if I'm being honest. Um, we've trained, maybe we should have trained more. Um, give the boys a target before Christmas to achieve a certain amount of points which they, they achieved. Um, so I gave them an extra day off okay. training as a reward. Um, maybe I should have got them in. Um, because it was in parts like last time. The team, like say you haven't played for nine days, planning as a team to play two games within the nine days, um, we did capitalise on that for me. Uh, when we did press and, and win it high, we caused them problems, but it was, it, it didn't, they didn't do it consistently enough throughout the game. Um, they set off, um, set off of Aiden's teams, especially Mersh and they would just pop it in front of them. I mean, so you need to get in their places and close the space down quickly and then cause an error, which we did do just before the half, half time um, when Ben's got in, Ben Dempsey got in, but we didn't, we, we didn't do it enough, if I'm being honest. Um, on to Bishop Stortford on Saturday and then the game's kind of, you know, they start piling up against a few of the teams around us. Have you got a points target in mind that you think we'll need to make the playoffs or is it just a case of... Well, I mean, this, t this year it's, it's all up in the because you've got two teams less in the league, yeah. so there's a lot, there's 12 points potentially that you wouldn't normally get. So you're looking at 80 plus to get in playoffs mm -hmm. anyway. Um, so, yeah, listen, I think I think we're on course for playoffs. I think we're third today after. I think yeah. we just lost 3 0 to Brazil. Yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, we're on course for that, but, but my aspirations and 
Yeah, maybe I'm speaking too high sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I want to win the league. Mm. Yeah. Maybe it's a tough league to win, but I don't want to get be in this league to get uh, in the playoffs, just the playoffs. I just want to, I, mean, I, I want to win the league. So I said that to the boys. I knew if you just run the old round, I'd say you'd want a league. And there's two in there. Clean in minutes one, two, we'll try the title. Yeah. 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 Yeah.